We'll be talking about Ubuntu Touch GSI, or Generic System Image, running on the OnePlus 3. If you don't know what any of that means, don't worry. Check out the links below and somebody will be able to help you out. Basically, it's a different approach to running Ubuntu Touch on the OnePlus 3. There are some differences and some improvements. At the beginning, we'll notice that there are no user metrics on the screen. But the fingerprint reader is working to unlock the device. It can also be used to call the dash with a quick tap. If you're using the same finger for the fingerprint reader, you have to tap it quick enough so that it doesn't read your fingerprint. Holding it will give you access to the dash as well. Calling functions are working, the loudspeaker functions, and even the in-call volume is working now. The volume mode switch is not functional, as it is on the other image for Ubuntu Touch. Overall, it's a little bit more smooth, but I did notice a strange behavior trying to get rid of windows. You have to press on them a little bit longer and then swipe up. The flashlight feature that wasn't working on the other image can be accessed using a third-party uTorch app. Wi-Fi is working and has seen some improvements thanks to some extra scripts and modifications. Thanks to those contributors as well. Mobile data does work after doing a few modifications. However, you won't see it in the indicators. The Wi-Fi reconnect does have a fix and normally works very well. It just seems not to work every time I try to film this video. There are some other strange behaviors to note that I didn't note last time. When setting up the accounts, the on-screen keyboard tends to not appear. That makes it very difficult to set up without an external keyboard. But since Bluetooth is working, you can connect the external keyboard and type in your account information. The keyboard can also be used to access the dash by pressing the super key or holding it down and then pressing a number to have quick access to one of your favorite apps.
Lastly, I want to talk about the camera. The default camera is a little different, but the one I have installed is the G-Streamer camera. The regular pictures work quite well. The front-facing camera, however, causes the app to freeze. On the GSI image, video recording does work. Video playback is also functional. I should also mention that ADB and file transfer are not working yet on this image, so you'll have to set up SSH to connect to it. Again, it's a very functional image, and I like what's going on so far. If you like what you see, or you'd like to help out, remember to join us. Check out the links below and discuss this in the forum.